now today class we discuss about some basic principle working principle of uh, the total electrical machine that is faraday's laws okay the faraday's law is mainly to find the to re reproduce the induced emf in our uh, any machine according to faraday's law whenever there is a relative space or time variation in between Uh, magnetic field as well as set of conductors simply the emf will be produced in the conductors okay the emf will be produced due to the effect of relative to space variation or relative to time variation now uh, the total faraday's law is consisting of two laws faraday first law and is also called as dynamical induced emf and also it is called as relative to space variation and coming to the second uh, law of faraday's that is faraday's second law and statistical induced emf and this is also called as relative to time variation uh, to produce the emf in faraday's law simply these are the uh, basic requirements to generate the emf in our faraday's law what is the first one magnetic field as well as set of conductors means that that is conductors okay now these are one of the requirements in our faraday's laws the first requirement is magnetic field and set of conductors uh, in between uh, field and conductor we have some time time variation or space variation also now these are the main major requirements to find the uh, emf the induced emf in our faraday's law if you are coming to uh, faraday's first law in this faraday's first law the magnetic field will stationary part and set of conductors will moving part okay in our faraday's first law uh, if you are taking this total magnetic field in stationary position so and set of conductors are moving position simply third type of law will be comes to faraday's first law and by using this law only we need to find the induced emf and coming to the faraday's second law in this faraday's second law also Uh, we need to find the some induced emf by using uh, magnetic field and set of conductors but uh, what's the main importance of this faraday second law compare with the first law in this magnetic field is a moving part uh, in faraday's law number 2 and set of conductors are stationary position if you are taking the first law of uh, faraday's uh, whenever the flux will be flowing from north pole to south pole if you are place one conductor in between north pole and south pole simply uh, by using some flux cut rule uh, in this total we have some uh, generate the emf that emf is called dynamical induced emf okay whenever the current carrying conductor is placed in between two magnetic fields simply the total flux will be uh, the total conductor will be cuts the flux then we can produce some emf that emf is called Uh, dynamical induced emf now coming to dynamical induced emf we have some flux density and uh, v is the velocity of the conductor when it is moving and uh, l is the length of the conductor l is the length of the conductor and what is the dynamical induced formula that induced emf in dynamically ed or e equal to blv sin theta blv sin theta that uh, theta is angle between b versus v okay the theta is nothing but uh, the angle angle of b and v in between these two and coming to the example the applications of that uh, dynamical induced emf the dc generators are the best example for dynamical induced emf simply see simply see that the conductor cuts the magnetic field then it experience some induced emf that induced emf is called dynamical induced emf okay uh, this is a application of dynamical induced emf and coming to the second law of faraday's that is uh, statistical induced emf statistical induced emf according to faraday's second law uh, the magnitude of statistical induced emf is equal to the rate of change of flux linkages rate of change of flux linkages the flux linkages is nothing but it is a multiplication factor of number of turns with the flux number of turns with the flux 
means that that is n into pi n into pi is a flux linkages in our uh, statistical induced emf by using third one we need to find some uh, emf that emf equal to that emf equal to minus n into d pi by dt sir why i am taking minus simply this is a direction of statistical induced emf okay this is a direction of statistical induced emf uh, found by the lenz laws okay found by the lenz laws now come into the main keyword of statistical induced emf is the flux linkages are required to generate the statistical induced emf in faraday faraday second law uh, if you are taking some faraday first law that is nothing but dynamical induced emf the flux cuttings are required to generate the dynamical induced emf in uh, faraday's law number 1 okay uh, if you are go through some application of uh, the statistical induced emf the transformers are the best example and one of the ac machine these are one of the ac machine okay and this is also called as uh, this uh, statistical induced emf is also called as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction principle and this is also called as mutual induction principle okay mutual induction principle as well as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction principle these both are same okay the best example is transformer is the best example for statistical induced emf in this statistical induced emf uh, which is moving which is stationary the conductors are stationary the flux are moving uh, in circulate manner in transformer simply this transformer is the best example okay because of the conductor is stationary the flux are moving thank you